Welcome Transformer fans, my name is Composite Energo, and today's review is on the Transformers Universe Ultra Class Darkwind. And here he is in his alt mode, but before I go any further, got some things to say. So uh, Darkwind here is first off a Toys R Us exclusive, or he used to be a Toys R Us exclusive. He was a Toys R Us exclusive repaint of the Transformers Universe Ultra Class Silverbolt. Silverbolt. And he is basically a straight repaint. Because uh, I've compared them and yeah. I don't have the silver bolt, but I looked up pictures and yeah, this is just a straight repaint. And from what I can tell, they didn't really change much besides the color. And another thing you might be wondering is that who is Dark Wind? The, this figure might look familiar for somebody. Like the color scheme and the design might look familiar. But the name isn't really like, doesn't sound, doesn't sound right. Well, that's because uh, this guy is a reimagining. Well, he was reimagined as a Silverbolt repaint of the original G1 character, a Dark Wing or Black Wing, if you happen to know him by that name. Who was um? I personally, I actually don't know who the character is, but I do know that that character did get another figure as part of the Power of the Primes line. If I remember correctly, he did get a deluxe figure whose vehicle mode could combine with another character who I don't really remember to make one bigger jet, which I think is what this is based on. Or what that is, that this is like based on, sort of. So, yeah. So yeah, Dark Wind. And obviously this is one of those cases where the name had to be changed due to copyright reasons. And yeah, makes sense. It happens all the time with uh, Transformers. So yeah, Dark Wind here is um is this? Is what it looks like. And from the pictures I've seen, the color scheme is very is very close to being that character. So yeah, here we have Dark Wind in his vehicle mode, which is, and I found this out, is a made-up vehicle mode. It's called an see if I can remember this correctly, an FB129, what was it called? Supersonic Fighter Bomber. That's that's apparently the official name of this of this vehicle mode, which is shared by both him, uh, Silverbolt, who is a, he is a repaint of, and another repaint of this mold called Skyfall, who I think is supposed to be a partner of Darkwing, of like the G1 Darkwing. So I, I guess, but now you have a trio of repaints, which is just kind of weird. But yeah, uh, but out of those three, I think Darkwind here I think is the best uh, look. Out of the three, in my opinion. Uh, Skyfall does have some pretty neat colors, and that was a Walmart exclusive. But I feel like I'm rambling. So yeah, here he is. Here's his vehicle mode. The FB-129 Supersonic Fighter Bomber. Um, if it's based off, if the original mode was based off of something realistic, I don't know for the life of me, to be honest. So, yeah, here it is. So this being an Ultra class, which is, if you remember, was an, was an older size class. It, isn't, it sadly isn't really used anymore, but it was um, larger than a Voyager, but small, well, <laughs> I can't really say that now, but it used to be larger than a Voyager and smaller than a leader. However, these more recent uh, leaders, I can't really say that with these more recent leaders. So yeah, ultra class. So, so what does he have? So he has some landing gear with actual rolly wheels, which is very nice. So he does roll. Um, he doesn't roll that well on my wheels, but they do move. And they are also retractable. So you just pop them up, like so, and he's ready to fly. He also has his massive cannon up front, which is spring-loaded, but I don't have the actual missile. But it is a spring-loaded cannon, which is very cool. And then here's another thing. This guy actually has lights and sounds. And in his vehicle mode, he has three distinct sounds, which they cycle after going through them. So the first one, and I believe the first one I have it, it's a sort of engine starting up sound, which, the, which um, causes the engines to light up. So you press this button. There you go, it's starting up. The second press gives you a machine gun fire in which you can actually hold it down and it extends the sound. So, and also these light up. But as you can see, if you hold it down, it extends the actual noise. And then this last one is a bit weird. So I'm going to show you in here. It's, it's a whooshing sound, 
like is like as the jet is flying by but the only thing that lights up is as you can tell in here this is the uh this is his uh, his head his robot mode head the eyes light up of the robot mode head so just just take a look oh you can see the whole it's hard to tell but the whooshing sound forces the eyes to light up which is weird since as you can see you well you because you couldn't see you couldn't see his eyes light up it's very very strange how they designed it that way but then those are the three sounds and they just keep cycling forward and then that's it i think overall this is a very cool uh vehicle mode i think it looks really cool in all three versions i think they all look and maybe any others that i'm not aware of looks really neat it's a very very good size I miss Ultra Class. I kind of wish they'd bring it back. It's a nice size class. So, uh, let's get on with Transformation, which is very simple. Like, this is, like, very simple. First, take off his uh, uh, cannon here. And then, fold this up. And then this will click into here. Oh, there you go. Oh, you may, and to take this off, you have to, like, push up a bit. And then it'll slide out. Well, not slide out. And then... These fins here, yeah, these being, you just fold them in or fold them that way. I kind of prefer them being folded in. And as you can see, this is like the whole robot mode. It's very simple. Uh, he actually does get another sound. Well, one and a half sounds. So pull these, fold these, bring them out. And then you separate this, fold down the legs, fold down the legs. And now we get to the other noise, which is the... Well, the transformation noise, when you pull, when you, not pull, when you push this up, the, uh, the head will reveal and the head's lights, head's eyes will light up and you get the transformation sound. Saw that? Oh, sorry. I accidentally pressed something else. That's it. But here's also a funny thing. If you pull it, it does it in reverse. That's really neat that you can do that. It's really cool. So let's finish this off. Uh, forward, forward. You can kind of see it. Feet forward, heel back. Feet forward, heel back. Take this. Bring out the fist. Click it into place. Adjust. Click into place. Adjust. And there we have Darkwind in his robot mode. And it looks really good. Oh, and we have his blaster, which you can either store on his back like so or like so. Store it on his back. Or, as I would have him, you'd have him hold it. In any one of his hands, you can plug it in. It looks pretty cool. Really cool. I may, have, I may have gone ahead of myself with the blaster, but that's his only accessory. So, yeah. Um, he also gets lights and sounds here. Well, not he kind of gets it. The only thing that triggers here is when you put this switch, as you can see, this little thing here. Disappointing. That's actually very disappointing in his robot mode. That's the only sound he gets is the gun firing. And the only thing that lights up are the actual guns. Are these guns, what I'm assuming are guns, on his vehicle mode. Like, his eyes don't light up. It's a very weird decision they made. Where the only way his li his eyes light up is either for the transformation, for along with the transformation noise, or when he's doing the fly-by sound effect in his robot mode, in his uh, vehicle mode. It's so weird. But yeah. Other than that, I think it's a really, really cool design. Very nice, very nice. Here's where you can see the whole, the inspiration that this is supposed to be, um, heck is this? Huh, don't know what that is, but whatever. Did a little bit of trash on them. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, the transformation was really simple. Uh, lights and sounds didn't full, only carried over one sound, which is a shame. And that's it. That's it for all of his sounds. And since we're at it, let's look, at, look at that head sculpt. Uh, it looks really cool. But it's the same as Silverbolt, 
But I do like how they did paint his mouth to sort of resemble uh, Dark Wind, Dark Wing a little closer. So Dark Wind, so Dark Wind here looks really nice. Very, very nice. Nice, simple transformation. The backpack is actually not too offensive in my opinion. I think it works very well. So at least he's a nice big figure. So onto articulation. Head can swivel. That's about it. Arms can go out. Up and down. Swivel at swivel at the upper arm, as well as a nice bend at the elbow. And I love all of these ratchet joints. It's so nice. Keeps everything in place. Put that back in. Legs are the same. Oh, nice crack, nice ratchets. Out that far in, forward back, bend at the knee, as well as a swivel at the thigh, at the thigh. And a little bit of forward and back on the feet, but that's more for transformation. Uh, no waist. So he's got pretty good articulation, which is very nice. So yeah, overall, this is just a very nice figure. Very solid. Very solid. And I think out of the three repaints that I'm aware of, this is the one I liked the most. Even though I honestly didn't know up until like researching this guy a little bit, I had no idea that this was repainted again to the Skyfall Walmart exclusive character. No idea. I only knew Silverbolt and I knew this guy. I didn't know that it was repainted again. And it may have been repainted a couple more times. So let's get on with size comparisons. Here we have Ratchet and Cliff Jumper. And as you can see, he's really big. Just very nice. And yeah, overall, like I said, he's a nice, solid figure. No complaints. Uh, I think this mold, even though it does resemble Silverbolt quite a bit, I think it fits better for this character. Since Silverbolt, I always associate him with the team for, you know, for the aerial bot. So it's weird just having Silverbolt by himself. And I thought it was a weird choice. I know they did the same thing with Onslaught, and I still think that's a weird choice, even though that figure is actually really, go really good. So yeah, this guy is a very nice figure, and I honestly, I recommend him. Well, the figure is great. The Silver Bolt is great, too. But I, if I would give a recommendation, I would recommend this guy, or maybe even Skyfall, I guess, over the Silver Bolt, only because I think it makes more sense as a standalone figure. And I think I like the name, Dark Wind. Eh, dark Wing, Dark Wind, Black Wing. And just, I feel that the other two are, are, are associated with other things. So Dark Wind, I think, just makes more sense. To me, anyway. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. So yeah, uh, this has been my review of the Transformers Universe Ultra Class Dark, uh, dark Wind. And before signing off, here is my special person's Instagram. Please check it out. There is mine if you're curious. There's hers again. And that's it. This is Composite Energy signing off. Peace out and be safe.